Okay, here's another League of Legends game coming your way, this time as... Wait for it. Misfortune. Yeah, you guys saw the title on you anyway. So anyway, we are not actually going to follow me for the beginning of this video. So for the past three games, I've had trolls. This would actually be the third one. I'm looking Morgana, or not Morgana, Soraka support. And in case you're wondering, yes, we'll eventually get to me, but it's just Morgana throws the lane away. I'll try to cut to that, and we don't recover. So, what I want to see here is how this Soraka top is going to play out, because I don't know how this works. I don't even know what all she's running in terms of runes. She has... Oh, crud, what's this? Inspiration, that's what it is. Inspiration has her subtree, and you can see right here she has Airy and Mana Flow Band, so that she... Uh... We'll come back to her in a second. So she has Sorcery as her primary. As for me, I'm just sitting here waiting. Ram it. Sadly, I do have to mute the team here. There's going to be a lot of flaming back and forth, and like I was trying to say, it's just a mess. So let's focus on Soraka in the meantime. So it is almost time for the buffs to spawn. She is standing guard like a good top lane slash support slash I don't know what, but there she is. She started Q. You can see she's wearing flash teleport. She's seen on 25 AP. Now she's going to be a little late to lane because she stayed that long, even though we did see Rengar down bot. We know he's starting blue, so I don't know why she stayed around that late. So we will cut to me real quick, in case you want to see how this lane gets thrown away. So they're going to go all in on me right here. I was surprised Morgana started with her W, I have to flash and heal. And then, because she's so awesome, Morgana decides to go 1v2 against a Draven of all things. What's the worst that can happen, right? And we'll rewind a bit here so you can see him get poked down a bit. So remember, she does get healed when she lands her Q. And she's actually landing those, too. So right there was the first blood. So if you look on the minimap, Rengar, Ramus. She's getting to the point where they're actually going to start showing up, and in turn, like, I'm really impressed about the whole mana situation, too, because remember, she's running a Duran shield, not a ring or anything, and she's... wow, she's even lasting pretty well. But yeah, in case you're wondering, that's the end of bot lane. So right there, she's cutting through his bone plating. He levels up. He's staying on half his health. He started boots, four pots. He is down to two pots. Once again, we'll cut to the junglers, because they're about to collide from the look of it. And this Rengar cleared very damn well. So he's back down to half health. Damn. <laughs> so Ramus is speeding in. He's over here. Oops, wrong one. So Rengar got his empowered stuff off. Remember, he has red buff, and getting into the brush can always be dicey. It's just really nice save by Ramus. And the thing is, by now I actually had him muted already because he said, I'm not ganking, F this. And remember, Soraka has red. Ramus steals with his flash. I don't know if he's running anything in Domination. If you notice, his keystone is Phase Rush, so... I don't know if he had any sort of Bounty Hunter thing to rely on. Anyway, making a detour down here. Here we are. In case you want to know what I'm running, we will follow me for the second half of the game, I guess. I am running Fleet Footwork, Overheal... Alacrity, Coup de Gras, and that Mana Flow Band and Gathering Storm. I figured if we were going to win this, I needed to become a hyper carry like being, so that's where the whole Gathering Storm comes in. So, right here, Morgana has no sense of mana conservation. As such, she's going to be oom for most of the game. <laughs> yeah, they gave me a winning support, what can I say? 
So right there I'm pretty sure Draven missed that, which is a lot more devastating than it used to be. And the sad part is when Draven actually goes back and spends, he's going to come back with a BF sword and we can't trade with him anymore. So if you want to see the gold numbers, he's sitting on 1400, I'm sitting on 700, he is 700 ahead of me. And basically I'm forced to use double up just to try to wave clear and stuff. Damn, I didn't even notice this one. So she has a Sheen now. The Sheen makes a little bit of sense because her stuff is so spammable. Ooh, red buff. So yeah, when the jungler dies in back-to-back -back ganks, it's really devastating in terms of how he's going to do stuff like that. You can't see his level, can you? Everyone is level 4, Malphite's level 3, Soraka's actually 5. We'll actually click on her. You can see she's about to hit level 6. So she'll actually have global pressure once she does that. Basically, worst case scenario is about to get even worse for them. Ooh, this is a beauty. So watch this. So keep in mind we have no lane priority. He gets the wish to keep him alive. So right now he has a recurve bow because he's going wit's end. As such, he doesn't have the cinder to try to burn through this. He swings kind of fast, but it doesn't really matter because he's literally got nothing going for him. So he smites it so that he doesn't die. He's pinging desperately because he made a very, very stupid call. Morgana's coming around to try to save. There's the execute. The dragon is going to roam around looking for something. Keep in mind, she has no mana. He seriously stole that with his E. So we'll cut back over here. Ari hits a bit of a rough start. Very much so like me. You can see four of them came up. And while that's going on, I'm just going to try to sit here and last hit. Draven's going to have a lot more of a CS lead than I do for most of the game. And if you want to see the gold numbers, he just he's seen at 2600, I'm seeing at 1800. And if you're wondering what he just bought, BF sword, long sword, boots, and I think he buys yeah, pink ward. As for me, I only have enough to get a BF sword and a potion on that back. That's literally everything I have, so I need to get out. So the boots are low priority for me. I think I get them on the next back though and the main reason for that is just the way strut works hold on <laughs> what's going on here so she still has the sheen he went back he got a null magic mantle and a refillable potion what else is he running we know he has the bone plating he has aftershock as his keystone which he can't use until he hits level six i don't know he's running as a sub tree though Okay, so I saw it's inspiration he's running, I think. When Soraka was slowed, he got the thing that gives him movement speed when running towards someone who's debilitated. I forgot what exactly that one's called. It's in the Cosmic Insight tier. Watch, see it right here? Or, was there? Oh well. So right here is when the tower goes down. So they go all, all in. I don't know what Morgana's thinking. Make it worse. She's actually going to be rushing tier. Actually, she has the tier now. So I suspected something was going to be coming down. Draven just hit six. He didn't have the mana for his whirling death. I was expecting that, which is why I moved into the brush, but it was actually the Mega Inferno Bomb I dodged. So I'm saying right here in chat, Zig Zolted hopes that Ari can actually get stuff done. What's kind of cool is she actually is winning in CS when Ziggs is really just known for obliterating the wave and going home. Right here, Rambus committed suicide. I was actually watching this one while I was walking back to lane. In case you're wondering, he just decided to randomly tower dive a full health in Alphite. Gave him double buffs. Yeah. 
So right here I missed almost all these last hits, which is why I didn't really care to show. <laughs> I still have mixed feelings about the whole love tap thing. I I liked it back when the W was the impure shot and the passive was strut, but they changed her around. Like the nice thing about the impure shot was you had the additional damage on hit. And it can add up very, very fast. So I didn't ult there in case you're because I knew I wasn't getting him. I thought he still had flash, he didn't. Right there, we force him out of lane. We force his heal also. So Rengar's gonna come around. So right here, the marking's on me. Now it's on Morg. That tells us it's coming from this way. Morg takes a blind shot, gets lucky. I threw that behind us in case he wanted to try to chase or flash after us or something, but he didn't. And we'll actually watch up here a little bit more. So when she finally in back, she bought Merc Tread, so she doesn't have to worry about the slow from his Q as much. It'll go away more quickly, that is. And then she also bought a Phage. Ziggs gets a double kill. So remember that red buff doesn't work on towers, so... She can't, like, indirectly whittle it down that way. Right there was my one death of the game. Actually, do I die once or twice? I don't remember. But yeah, all things considered, I was... I had little desire to work as a team this game. I just wanted to sit this one out and see where it goes. And in case you're wondering, yes, I set my expectations as low as possible because I knew this was going to be belly up. So right there, they trade Flash. She is really good with landing those Qs, and she's maxing E second. Anyway, bot tower went down, so I'm just going to sit here and power farm. So as boring as this is, I'm going to set up a freeze for a little while. I was getting ready to tell Morgana to piss off, but luckily she takes the hint. Now, because of the cannon, this is going to push. And I'm going to sit here until I make up a good portion of my CS deficit. And once I'm ready, we will go mid and unleash hell. So, Soraka went down. Cutting to... Oh, that's the dead Ramus. Here's Ari. So I don't know what you're supposed to max second on her now. Dark Bond, you went way too wide. Traven has IE already. I'm building towards Essence Reaver in case you're wondering. She actually got him with a come around. That is pretty nice. Charm. Ooh, fake out. That's right there, she's forced to flash. Draven's ignited, so that little Vamp Scepter isn't going to make that much of a difference. He can't enter that while his Q is going, because Q is a channel. We'll jump over to him. He got stunned with a Cosmic Binding. Cut to me real quick, I'm still farming. So Soraka now has her Trinity completed. Never thought I'd say that. And she also has a Longsword. So she actually swings pretty damn quick. Ooh. So anyway, we're going to give up Dragon here. There's really nothing we can do for this. She comes close. Like, it was down to 66 points, but just because they had it set up correctly, it really wouldn't have made a difference. Sappers, due to the Soraka Q being so heavily telegraphed... Up, oh, showtime. So I need to dodge that. Once that's off the table, just ult. So I didn't get any kills off of that, but the important thing is we kill Rengar. We get the Draven Flash. Draven goes for it. Here's Soraka. There's his barrier. And down he goes. So those three kills pretty much wipe out Draven's Gold Bleed.
No? Oh, right, it's passive. But anyway, that's enough time for me to go ahead and get this. So I'm going to let this kill as many minions as possible once the new wave arrives. I'm going to focus them while I just let that chip away. So right here I make the mistake of shooting the same one. You're supposed to shoot one, switch to a different one. If you want to, you can shoot a minion, shoot a tower like that. And that's all. Ooh, she missed. We'll cut back to me real quick. So this is the part where we're gonna finally come to life. So I'm down, still about a thousand gold. That gives me Essence Reaver. I buy a Zeal, but then I cancel that to grab Zerker Greaves and the Zeal components. Main thing is I knew I wanted to run around. The main reason why things are gonna go bad for the enemy team, in case you're wondering, is while Rengar has kind of redeemed himself, we'll jump over to him real quick. Here we are. If you remember, he was zero two. Now he's three three. The main obstacle he's going to run to is just the lack of focus. So the double buffs end up transferring to Malph. And wait for it, folks. I arrived too late. No dramatic entry, sorry. So anyway, Malphite's going top. Don't worry, we're still going to turn this around. So here comes Ari. And cut loose. So Draven goes down, and I collect the last hits. So Ziggs is pretty messed up when it was all said and done. Rengar had to recall, and Bard is doing Bard things. He's basically just collecting his chimes. In the meantime, I want to go ahead and just try to power farm a bit more. I want to finish the Zeal and ideally get another BF Sword on the next back, because I was thinking I'll just get the Zeal and go into Infinity Edge, but I will go ahead and finish the uh, Rapid Fire Cannon once the once I have the BF Sword. So coming back to Soraka, she now has Joram's Fist. I don't know if it's just the player doesn't know how to last hit those, or if it's just really difficult on Soraka, because her auto-attack animation is one of the worst in the game. Anyway... So right there, we get the Draven Taunt. And I just have to gun him down. Ah, right, I do die here. So I don't know why he went that way. Because of that Bard ult, he's able to reposition to get the stun. And if not for Zig showing up, I would have killed him still. So that's my last death. So right there I finished the zeal. And I do have enough gold where I can just wait for the BF sword. In case you're wondering, I don't have enough to finish the rapid fire cannon at the moment, so basically. Ooh, Ari's gonna commit suicide here. <laughs> the Draven came from behind, she was completely surrounded, there was no way out of that for her. But yeah, BF Sword. We'll cut to Soraka. So that was the slow, Draven uses his W. They end up taunting Malphite just so they can get someone. Ramus has his Cinder Hulk, I should point out, but he does not have his wit's end. And we're gonna jump over to me. Because that's what you're all here for, right? Not to watch this weird 80 Soraka top. So right here I'm just hoping land a dark binding more, to land a dark binding. Like that. <laughs> so I was expecting the Mega Inferno Bomb, but I didn't know it was on cooldown at the time, so... It's kind of like a fake-out recall, especially if this were rewarded, because I didn't know at the time. So 
So going back to the gold totals, I'm only down 500 now. Remember at one point I was down at least a thousand, I don't remember the exact number. And right here, just poor focus from Mengar. For some reason he wanted to go on Ari, and you don't want to do that. <laughs> In case you're wondering, I just want to push this out. It's basically free gold. And if we can get this lane shoving, then it will cause them to come here instead of the Infernal. Should also point out what this kind of goes without saying. This is bridging the gold gap between us. It looks like right here I might actually take the lead. Ooh, it's only 100 gold now. So I want to save Soraka right here. I genuinely didn't care about Draven. So with those guys off the table, it's time to go for the Infernal. I don't want to eat the Fire Breath because I want to wait for Strut to come back up. I'm expecting Rengar to hop in. So I want to make sure I can reposition if need be. So Ramus didn't have Smite there. He didn't even tell us that he didn't have it, it looks like. In case you're yes, I'll steal the cannon. I eat a tower shot. Move this forward a bit. And then Bar just steps in the wrong space. <laughs> so right there, I had to flash out of that. Paying attention to Rengar, he ends up going for Soraka. So, gotta put him in his place. So where's Whirling Death? I saw that coming, and that's why I moved. One thing I try to emphasize to people is, don't shop while you're recalling. That's the perfect time for someone to snipe you. And you can see Draven tried. But anyway, there's the Rapid Fire Cannon. That item is really good for picking off retreating enemies. So our tower still goes down, Rams is taking a crap load of damage. And yes, that was through the Draven heal. So I killed Bard. Kinda wanted Ziggs, but I'll take it nonetheless. And with that, we're now in position to go Siege Mid. I was expecting Malphite to ult here, we didn't actually know it was on cooldown at the time, but it's one of those things you can see from the spectator client. So in terms of gold, I am a thousand above Draven right now. I was looking to see if Red was here, and I think I ended up taking the chicken camp. And this is where the action is, so we'll cut to this. Looks like Draven got charmed. Morg does not have her Zonias, so nothing happens. <laughs> she does have Archangels, though. This was recently nerfed, so remember it doesn't give as much AP as it used to. And right there I gave Malphite a little tap to make sure that his bone plating isn't in place anymore. So right here we can try to siege the bot lane. Ram is going to come around from on high. He grabs Rengar. I position my bullet time so that if he wants to get out he has to go through it rather than just walking out normally. Basically the shortest way out for him was to go through my team, which is not something he wants to do, especially now as a squishy assassin. If you're a tank Rengar, he might be able to make that work, but he's not. So right here I cancel the recall. I didn't know if they could see me, and I could have killed Draven right there, but I was too slow. So as a consolation prize, I'll take the scrum. So yeah, um, one thing to take away from this, in case you're wondering how I got back from that abysmal laning phase, it's just I AFK farmed. That's really all there is to it. It wasn't really anything fancy. My team was able to hold them at bay while I got the gold I needed, and from there, I have items now. 
So that's the Infinity Edge. I didn't want to go down there in the first place because once I killed the chickens, I had enough gold for it. But yeah. So I'm up 2,000 gold above Draven. He has his Shiv. He's going for a Last Whisper item. I don't know which one exactly, since he's kind of afraid of the Ramus, I guess, even though Ramus only has one armor item. And right here we thought they were doing Baron. So we want to make sure we stole that from them. And you can't see it anymore, but my mana flow band is maxed, so I should have, like, infinite mana by now. So they lined up. There's bullet time. Malphite does succeed in interrupting it because of a bad black shield, but... Poorly timed Mega Inferno Bomb means I get a triple. So I was kind of hoping I'd get the Penta here, but nope. Ari ruined it for me. <laughs> so without that potential Quadra, well, without the being able to get that last guy, I didn't even care to chase Ziggs. I could have tried to run him down, but it just wasn't worth it. It's not the same, man. So, we know Mega Inferno Bomb is down because it was used in that last fight, specifically on me, in case you don't remember that part. So, this should be a pretty safe take. It came kind of close with the whole Whirling Death thing, and they almost got Soraka too, but yeah. So, the next Dragon's Infernal, if you didn't see the bottom left corner, they're pinging 40 seconds on that at the time. I go ahead and sell my Durant to get a Vamp Scepter. And right here, I need to get the bot line shoving once again. We don't want to... One thing I try to emphasize, and you see a lot of really crappy players make this mistake, you do not want to fight when the lanes are pushing against you. You want to fight when your lanes are pushing. That way, the enemy is, either has to fight you, or they miss out on the gold that is being denied via tower. So I left one minion alive down there, which will quickly die, and then they get on their way. And then I want to get in position for the fight. So right there we kill Bard, he doesn't get his ult off. For some reason Rengar goes on the tank. Ari ends up getting the two kills. And right here I'm just going to solo the Infernal. Overall, while I could help them take it, they have all the tools they need. So I want to make sure we get this as more late game insurance. One thing you have to keep in mind, this is some of the boring math for some people I guess. I am running Gathering Storm, so every... Oh, Draven left, I guess. <laughs> so, every 10 minutes I get the additional stats, and then the Infernal's gonna compound that so I get even more. So if you notice, I'm sitting on 333 AD, and we're not even 30 minutes in. I only have three items, two of which give AD. So, 70, 140... And I guess I do get 15 from this, too. But it's not like a big ticket item. So that's 155. Half of my AD comes from my items at the moment. Then, can we actually see her base? No, we can't. It's like 70 ish. I get a little bit more from precision combined with sorcery. That's like an additional 20. Maybe 25 or so. And then the Gathering Storm at this moment should be 14 AD. Compounded, and then I forgot to mention all this. The infernal multiplies all that once you put it together. So my next item is Death Stance. In case you're wondering, that'll give me the final 10% CDR. It'll give me survivability for the Rengar burst. There goes my overheal. Thing is, I need this Tower Gold in order to afford it. So now I have the 2700 needed for what's left. I am 4,000 gold ahead of Draven. And right here, I don't even care to take part in this little skirmish. I don't care what happens. I want this tower. Once we have the top, the base is completely open. If you don't know for mid lane, they're about to surrender. The two towers can clear out the super minions, so you don't really make a lot of progress when the mid lane goes down. It's when you get the end lanes, either top or bottom. The minions will line up here, this can't help clear it, and that's when towers will fall on their own. Yeah, that's misfortune. So this 
I'll splice in the end rank at the very, very end, but yeah. Probably not the way you expect that to go, but I don't know what's with AD Soraka. You can see she has Triforce, Frozen Mallet, Rapid Fire Cannon, so she swings really, really fast and she slows. Your guess is as good as mine, I'm afraid. So anyway, I will splice in the endgame screen since I turned on the recording for that. And that's it, folks. I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.